Yo, yo. I'm like an addict, ooh, I gotta have it I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit If it moves, gotta grab it Fuse like a magnet, lose, won't have it Till I'm doomed in a casket I ain't playing, got a weird mind If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine I'ma stay in power for a long time Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter Hello, welcome to the Magician's Manor My name is Jamal, aka The Dark Magician Please come in and have a seat. Today, I just want to do a quick little video on Gabby Hanna. So I actually ran across the story um, via Angelica Olds, who was doing a video on Gabby Hanna. And I kind of found it interesting because recently Gabby was on the BFS podcast. And they're kind of like a, they seem to be kind of like a, like a tea drama type, you know, podcast. And so I watched it and it was very interesting. And her segment was, was very interesting. So they were just talking about, you know, Gabby Hanna and like some of the drama she's been through. So she they she talked a little bit about it and she did seem a little uncomfortable talking about it. And she says because like, you know, I've been taking like the last year to really work on myself and heal from these dramas and you know, she was okay talking about a little bit of it, but really didn't want to go into them because they were um, a little too fresh. And I will say that I really like the fact that the the podcasters really respected her opinion and they didn't press too hard. Now, what I want to point out is, and Angelica did this as well, is that she had like a t-shirt that said something on the front and then on the back, um, drama follows me. And I thought that was very interesting because when you look up, it seems like Gabby Hanna is always in some kind of drama. I mean, what can you say? It's like, damn, again? Really? And I will say that I think you will find yourself in, in drama when you pretty much put everything out there about yourself. Like you talk about your life um, in a real raw way because what you're doing is you're not only letting people see your good points, you're also letting them see your bad points. Uh, you are showing them that you are flawed and you just might be a very flawed person. And, you know, when your flaws show, it gives more people things to talk about and nitpick, especially if A, people just don't like your personality or B, you have wronged them in some sort of way. Whether intentionally or unintentionally, if you wrong someone, they're probably gonna come back at you with your own fault. And from what I've seen um, in Gabby Hanna's job, that's just the way it is. Like, you know, she will have good friendships and then they'll fall out. And then, you know, people will ask that person well, what happened and they will answer in an honest way. And Gabby doesn't seem to take that well. You know, she doesn't seem to take criticism in the best of ways. Now, I will say in some instances, the criticism is warranted and others it's not. And I do feel that people do take advantage of Gabby in a way because they will make video after video after video after video on her. And why do see um, value in the critique that, critique that is there I don't need five videos on the same critique by the same creator. And then also I don't need five more videos about the same critique by another creator. I can see in her position where it can be too much to where it can, it can bring you down. You feel like people are bullying you. And do I think she's been bullied um, sometimes? Yeah. And I'm saying by bullying is the whole same critique thing over and over and over again. You don't need to point out the same points over and over again. It's, it's too much. It's not warranted. It's ridiculous. Now, does Gabby bring some of this on herself with some of her actions? Most definitely. And this is why the drama follows her because, you know, it can't be helped at this point because when you're under that kind of microscope, people are going to be looking for things to come at you for, you know, good or bad. It, that's the way it is. Now, should she have to change who she is, you know, in order not to be bullied? No, but I do think some of her behavior may need to be adjusted moving forward. Now, people have said that Gabby likes the drama, you know, she's very dramatic, 
you know, X, Y, and Z. I personally don't think Gabby likes the drama per se. I don't think anyone would like being bullied and dragged over the internet for an insane period of time. But I will say I do think she likes what the drama does for her career and profile. Because if you think about it, really the only time you be really talk about Gabby Hanna is when she's doing something wrong. You know, the drama kind of puts her in um in the spotlight a little bit, for you say. You know, negative attention is good attention, basically. So, you know, I it helps her out in the long run at the end of the day. Like for example, you know, if she has a music music video out, like, you know, a drama helps her. It, like it helps put her name out there and then once the drama's out there, you know, her name's already out there. And so when she puts the music out, you know, her name, it, 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 it'll come up at the same time. Now, is it the best marketing strategy? For me, no. But I really feel like the benefits outweigh the cost at that point. Kind of like what they used to say with Jeffree Star, like, you know, if you, uh, you know, launching a palette or something, there'd be a drama right before. <laughs> like, get into scandal and then put on a palette and get, and get that money. And I get it. I totally get it. Not saying Gabby is doing that, but that's just the way it comes across, and that's just a way it can really help her. Drama puts your name out there, and, you know, it'll put people on your name to look out for your other projects as well. Because, like, if you Google, like, say, Gabby Hanna, I would think it would come up with Gabby, Gabby Hanna music if the music isn't put out. I mean, I'm not sure that's happening. That's just the way I see it. I mean... Is it, like I said, is it the best way to go? No, but is it effective? Yes. And at the end of the day, you're you're looking to be effective, not popular. So that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Abracadabra, magician out. People like sheep move feet, heard it easy You don't wanna be fast asleep when they see me Better stay tall, ready for a fight, believe me When they try the chains, you can say no, free me